In this rather special game, we have a bit of everything. Drama, friendship, and betrayal. And definitely a clear sign why you should never let Cassidy in of any nature, particularly this one as well. Free farm, and just what happens when he reaches that power spike. In this case, the power spike is an item called Mirror Mana, uh, which may not be the first thing you see people recommending you on Cassidy in. Since he is an AP champion with no AD ratios, it can seem very strange why you would ever, ever include Mirror Mana in your build. In fact, this entire build features no AP. Of course, if you wanted to, you could absolutely slap on a Zonia's, Banshee's Veil, uh, whatever you want really, even a Lich Bane. No, actually, no, don't, don't buy a Lich Bane. Because of the Mirror Mana, your consistent DPS through auto attacks goes up um, pretty decently. You do have a weak on hit on your W as well, as well as an auto reset, which is part of the reason the Mirror Mana works in the first place. I used to play this a lot, but with the focus on early game uh, this season, that just seems so prominent. I haven't really been able to play this since pre-season, uh, when Mirror Mana was a bit different. Now it feels a little bit weak, but as long as I can reach it, it is pretty fine. For the Mythic, we're going Divine Sundra. It gives some very welcome Sheen effects and Hybrid Penetration. That uh, just gives so much damage to this build without actually building any AP in conjunction with the Mirror Mana. We start with Tia, and normally in top lane, if you were to play this top lane, you can play it mid lane as well. We have a Zed jungle uh, doing the old emote gank. Kane comes in and I uh, slap him up a bit. Up until now, this Orn uh, was happy to bro lane with me, which I found endearing, I suppose. Kane will uh, double flash out of there, let's say, and Zed will also flash out of there with his not flash. <laughs> but uh, this um, very kind Orn did allow me to just dance and free farm somewhat. Um, basically never actually attacking me until, I guess, later. And it broke my heart whenever I attacked him. Sometimes I would give him a quick Q, I'm sure he could take it, just so I could charge my tier a bit faster, since now your abilities have to hit something in order to charge your tier. And it does go... It's three stacks for hitting a minion, and six stacks for hitting a champion. So just kind of using my abilities off of the tier's cooldown, you can see it in the items below. Sometimes I mess it up. I realized several times that I messed up my tier stacking. But that's okay. And if you do choose to harass the enemy, then you have to be prepared for the minions to hit back, for the enemy champion to hit back, etc. Against an AP champion, it's a bit easier to use. Just maybe hold back your Q and use it for its shield, or even the silence against some champions. But because this one was, I guess, very kind, we're allowed to just kind of farm. The rest of our team is doing well as well. A mid laner with 2-0. A bot lane, one zero with a Vex support of all things, that was strange. If I recall... Oh, hold on. Uh, you might be thinking, this is a pub stomp. If I recall, this Ferris gets very angry and starts doing a whole lot of nothing. I think he's, he starts raging and then rage split pushing uh, later on, but by then, I'm afraid we're already done. We go back for a Kindle Gem and a Sheen. I like to get the Mirror Mana as soon as it's done stacking, really, but the Divine Sunder is really good. The Sheen gives extra damage. The Kindle Gem giving some health and cooldown. Very useful. And back to bro laning. Now, you might be wondering, since I haven't shown this build in a long time, why would you play this over AP? And the reason is because Mirror Mana is better than Seraphs. Simple. Now, not every casting build uses Seraphs. Quite a lot do, actually, I believe, last time I checked, with Everfrost, because Everfrost is a mana item. And by not going for AP uh, Mythics, you're missing out an another mana item, and the only mana item you're going to get is Frozen Heart. Very important for this kind of build. Before Season 11, uh, you would just stack on as many uh, mana items as possible. The old Abyssal Mask, for example, Frozen Heart, Iceborne Gauntlets. All of these kind of items were very good on this kind of build. And I do believe there was actually a kind of... I don't know if it's pro play, but like Korean high elo. I've heard at least that there was a Korean high elo tank cast in build um, because people started telling me about it <laughs> around that time. But obviously, that's season 10. That's long gone now. Almost near the end of season 11, if you could believe it. Again, just hitting on a few times, he can take it. It'll be fine. Um, just to stack my tier a bit faster since getting to that <laughs> level of damage is very important. So. We're doing the speed through the laning phase because it's both mostly this all the same, um, with occasionally the junglers coming in to ruin things. But eventually I do have to leave the nest and start making things happen on the map. 
Now that the tier is almost there at 360, I do want to start thinking about getting that Mirror Mana instead of the Sundra. The Sundra on its own is alright, but until you get the Mirror Mana, you kind of aren't really doing much. Without any AP, your abilities are relying purely on base damage, which can work for casting, but not amazingly. We do have the Sheen, which does something for us, but you can see here I've bought the Coalfields 10%. Ability haste, sorry, 10 ability haste and a Mercury Treads just for that ability, uh, sorry, magic resist and tenacity. We're up against Orn if he decided to go aggressive on me. I would most definitely want some tenacity to cut through from that CC and brittle he's got. We had the potential Rast, although I'm not sure what he goes. I don't think he goes Rast this game. And we had Ash and Yumi as well. Two champions that do slow. With some free time, I decided to take the blue buff, knowing Kane was elsewhere. With Akali closing in on the minimap, at least it looks like it, I decided to leave it. I was thinking to take Crab, but Akali ends up in a fight with Rumble, who speeds away and <laughs> kind of jukes Kane over the plant. And then, bam, with an exhaust, what can this Akali, two levels below me, and 1 4 to the Rumble right now? What could she do? Unfortunately, she did get away, and I did have to spend a little more mana than I wanted. But that's okay, because I have presence of mind. And <laughs> and a blue buff. Kane dies inside me. And I can back and go back to top lane since Zed has kindly decided to cover it. It looks like the tower will die. And unfortunately, I cannot let Orn get away with such a thing. But I also do not have the heart to strike him down. So I let Zed take the kill. You can also see that my Mora mana is... How, how, did we just kill a champion? <laughs> I, I genuinely missed that. I was like, oh, uh, sorry, the replays can bug out sometimes, so. Like, when I'm changing around, and it clearly bugged out there. So this is something I've been dealing with when recording stuff. So, let's go a bit slowly after we kill the Orn. I was trying to speed through, like, the minion wave clear, but clearly one of those minions was not quite like the others. So here we have Kane coming in with his skin. I believe that's a baby Kane. And that is not the kind of damage you expect from a zero AP casting, is it? Quite fun. So, Mirror Mana nowadays applies on everything. Auto attacks um, and abilities. Casting's W, uniquely, I believe this is still the case. That, last time I checked in preseason it was, it still counts as two abilities. It counts as an ability and it counts as an auto attack. So when you use Casting's W, you're actually procking Mirror Mana twice. Not only that, but it serves as an auto attack reset, meaning you do auto attack and W, that's three more manas in right there. You press Q, that's four. Of course, with a rift walk, that's another one right there. If we look here. Oh. Ah, here we are. So auto attacks do a bit less damage and don't scale with AD, but uh, uh, damaging abilities do. So this kind of, there was a lot of back and forth changing in preseason before settling on this. I, I think it was for the health of Ezreal more than anything else. Watch this, Kane is like existing and I'm just like, please go away. He does no damage to me while I do substantial damage to him. Remember, don't compare this straight to AP, uh, AP Cassidy in terms of raw damage. AP Cassidy is so squishy. Like full AP Cassidy is going to do so much more damage. It's going to one shot people, it's going to burst people to hell and back make uh, like don't <laughs> don't compare them on damage but um ap tank cast in you can try and compare with frozen heart Ever frost and seraphs and most of my tests if you use the same items except you exchange the mirror mana for the seraphs mirror mana almost always came on top now there might have been some recent changes to seraphs i didn't see now i um unfortunately die in over my head Feeling a little too much power, despite not even having a mythic. And uh, chase the cane to oblivion because it's fun to be able to finally chase a cane. Too many fresh top games where I just have to watch him walk away, or fly away, or eat walls. Um, yeah. Very powerful stuff. Now we've got the divine Sundra, so we've got some hybrid pen going already because we've got our mana mana. Not much, but we have some. So we've gone for the flank here. Akali's gone into her shroud. Probably just mana fart on her right there. Do our burst rotation on Ash, basically killing her. There was some, obviously some extra help from the rest of our team. Uh, it does break my heart a little to attack one at this point. But I must do what must be done. 
Our Varus, I think he's already raging, but decided to join a team fight for once. I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> um, gets killed by the cane. But not much they can do against the unstoppable force of a mana tank cast. We're not even tanky yet. We've only got to ban some, right? I like how Ash pinged my R. Like, it means something. So what this build has always offered is so much mobility through lots of mana items. In this case, only Frozen Hearts. Um, if you want to, you can go more mana with an AP Mythic, but in which case I recommend Everfrost because it actually has health. Um, but that doesn't ha quite have the same properties as a Divine Sundra. Uh, you'll be locking yourself into taking Lich Bane if you want a Sheen item, since obviously the best ones are Mythics, Divine Sundra. And um, this is very tanky. Divine Sundra does have a decent amount of health, even after its nerfs. Yeah, it's AD was nerfed, and the AD is like the least important part of the Divine Sundra for this build. Sure, you water attack. But yeah. Unfortunately, most of my time playing AD Cassadin has been kind of shifted to the side, as I mentioned in the beginning, because early game is just... Every, early game is the whole game, it feels like. So if I'm playing Cassadin and I'm just zoned out of top lane or mid lane, then it feels like I have no control over the game, and I'm just hoping that we don't lose by 15 or 20 minutes so I can actually get my power spikes. I feel like this power spikes faster than an AP Cassadin if the AP Cassadin doesn't get ahead. Because you mostly you need more mana. If you have more mana, you're now doing damage. And you have the options to build defensively. But we're pushing this top lane whilst uh, they're busy with Dragon. And I was hoping that we'd get it. I teleport over after pushing in the top lane, but... Oh, no, we're fine. <laughs> I'm getting confused with other games. So now we go for Dragon after helping kill everyone. And the enemies will surrender right there at 26 minutes. If we look, we're only level 15 casting. We're not even level 16. The power does go up there, but from level 16 onwards is when AP casting truly begins to be better in every way than AD casting. Um, even Seraph's tank casting, but I don't like it as much. During the preseason, I was playing around with Sunfire and various other things because they were busted. I don't know. If nothing else, it's fun, and that's enough for me to play it. Hope you enjoyed watching. This is the first casting video in a long time, and might be the only casting video for a long time, depending how other games go. Um, so feel free to comment anything you've been wondering about the build, or are now wondering about the build below. I feel like I stopped and started several times throughout this, so I probably left many things unanswered. Please do ask them again in the comments below. And of course, you know, you know, you know the thing, you know what I'm going to say, like and subscribe. Yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.